Hey, the Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today we're going to be looking at this Comica smartphone multifunction video kit microphone. Going to get in this box, see what they sent us, and then we're going to get to some testing. So, three, two, one. All right, here we're back, and let's break into this box and get this show on the road. We got a nice little case this thing comes in. Okay, so let's open the case here and see what we got inside the case. All right, so we got our user manual, dead cat, little registration card, our conversion cable to hook from the mic to the smartphone. We've got a little tripod, smartphone holder, and the microphone. It's all in a nice, real soft case here. That's good. Let's move that out of there. All right, let's hook this little tripod together. See here. Put, put that on there. Using that, tighten that up. Let's put the phone in. Okay, got a Samsung Galaxy smartphone here. It's not big enough. Using this top screw, we'll widen it out here. Till we can get it to where it'll slide in here. Okay. Then we'll tighten that up. Okay. Got that in there. All right. This little button right here, you push it, and it allows the ball to move. And when you get it where you just let it go. And it tightens up so no, no fancy no difficult screws to screw on and tighten up just push button so stable pretty good let's uh, get the little mic here goes right here into this okay so we got the mic on you can turn it either way hook that in there hook this into here Okay, we're going to use Samsung voice recorder here. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Pull that out. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. Okay, so we've plugged it in. It's very simple. You go in, plug it in there, and you can test it out. So that's how it works. Let's go ahead and do some sound testing with it and see how good it is. Okay, so we're going to do a sound test here. Um, what I got is a uh, little Ons Angle 3 little Bluetooth speaker. This thing is an amazing little speaker, really loud, super crystal clear. I wanted to get something that would produce the cleanest possible audio. Uh, I've downloaded a, a song off of the YouTube free, uh, royalty free music list, um, and you can get free music there. Anyways, so I'm going to play that on here. It's a kind of a rock song with some clear tones in it. I didn't want to use a, a real noisy song. I wanted some clear audio so that you could hear the tones. Anyways, so I'm going to play that on my other device here. And let me get that going. Samsung Music. Uh, we'll go ahead and play that. Go to record and go to play. So we recorded that. Let's. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play that on on screen for you. What this recorded, and you can compare that to what you've heard. So here we go. <laughs> I've disconnected the microphone. We're going to let record the same song on the actual smartphone microphone and see how well that picks that up. OK, 
Okay, so now let's listen to that. What the smartphone picked up on its its built-in mic. Okay, so now I've got a third test. I'm going to compare this microphone uh, and the smartphone microphone to the Rode video microphone, which is what I use on my camera to film my YouTube videos. And let's see how that, this stacks up against that. Okay, we're going to plus record and play. Okay, so now let's hear the audio captured by the Rode video micro. All right, now I'm going to play them all three. Uh, one in sequence, the same thing, just going to switch off. I'll put a little text note to tell you which microphone you're listening to. All in sequence now. Ready? One, two, three, go. Comica mic, the smartphone mic, and the Rode Video Micro professional microphone. Uh, so that'll give you a comparison of how well it's done. Now we're going to do some outside dead cat tests. This has a dead cat on it. Um, I'm going to put the dead cat on here. We're going to go out into the wind and see how it does out there. Okay, so I'm out here in the wind and it's pretty windy out here. Um, the sound you're hearing now is coming over my Rode Video Micro, which is connected to my Sony A6500 mirrorless camera. Uh, that's the sound. There's still some wind here. I've got the dead cat on there. So let's go ahead and record some sound here the wind you can tell is, is blowing the grass around you see it on the the dead mic here i'm recording my voice right now uh, and i'm going to play back what i'm saying right here to you i'm going to be quiet and let you hear some of the background noise record some sound here the wind, you can tell, is, is blowing the grass around. You see it on the, the dead mic here. I'm recording my voice right now, uh, and I'm going to play back what I'm saying right here to you. I'm going to be quiet and let you hear some of the background noise. Okay, so uh, while I'm talking, I'm going to be spinning this around. And that's to see how directional this mic is. Is it omnidirectional? Is it monodirectional? Um, so we're just spinning around as I'm talking here and letting the wind hit it in all different directions while it's recording. And the, the audio you're hearing now is coming across this little uh, microphone here. So. Okay, that does it for the wind test. Let's talk about how this the mic did. Okay, you've heard all the samples, the inside, the outside, all that stuff. Uh, you've heard it with your own ears. You know what it sounds like. My opinion is this. It's a good little mic. Uh, it takes pretty good uh, audio. It On the indoor test with a little speaker here, it, it about matched the Rode Video Micro. Obviously, it was far superior to the built-in mic on the smartphone. Uh, there just was really no comparison there. Um, out the outdoor test, it didn't it didn't fare so well. The the little dead uh, dead cat cover here, wind filter, did not do a very good job of filtering out the wind noise. At least not nearly as good as the Rode video microphone. Uh, that's actually not the microphone's fault. That's this fault. The, the Rode video micro has just a better dead cat on it. As far as quality of audio, I think they're about on par, uh, equal with each other. Um, so it would be a really good. The things I do like about this is the uh, the little tripod, the way it works. I mean, you can turn it into... You, it's easy to use. It's cute. 
you know, you can go out and film on the street, do your little vlogging or your podcast or whatever you want to do. And then it has a little tripod you can set there. I like how secure it holds it here. You really can, uh, you know, you're not going to shake that out. Uh, you really can tighten it down, get your phone in there, make sure it's not. It's really built well. I like how this works. You don't, you're not dealing with a screw. You just push that in and it releases it. So that's easy to use. Um, everything about it I like. Uh, like I said, it's really good for a lot of things. It'll work in low, uh, low quality wind. I mean, low grade wind. Uh, as long as you're not dealing with like a windstorm. Today was very, very windy. And uh, I have the Rode Video Microphone because it is one of the best I've found for dealing with, with wind noise. And you can even hear it in the back background on there, but it wasn't interfering with the audio. In certain cases with this, when I was doing the audio there, you could hear there was some static that got in there because the wind just blew out the voice. Uh, but in you know mild winds, it's not it's going to be okay. So there you have it. You have everything, all the tests you need to know to make your own decision whether this will do good for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, please like, subscribe, and comment. And the most important, this is most important, share this video, please, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever social media you got out there. Uh, it really helps my channel uh, build. We're trying to grow this new ga the uh, Nothing But Gadgets channel, and with your help, we can make it go good. So share it on uh, whatever social media you have. I appreciate it. Until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying I'll see you later.